Okay, so what I'm going to show you is my first session reconditioning this dog, Sadie, to the electronic collar. Uh, she's had it in the past. It's been a little while since she since it's been used at home. Um, and the way she was conditioned to it in the past uh, probably wasn't the best way to use for a lot of uh, a lot of corrections and relying on it to to fix things. Uh, it's not about the remote collar or any tool fixing things. It's about communication. And uh, so I'm gonna get her started. Uh, first, I'm gonna find her number, her working number, and then we're gonna we're gonna get to work. I don't use the collar to uh, to to punish her. I don't use the collar to uh, to reward her either. It's communication. I'm gonna teach her what this communication is and what I want by using it. And that is to come to me, to re either recall, to get in with me, to switch to pack drive, be with me, come into my zone uh, and switch out of prey drive, switch out of defensive drive into pack drive. Pay attention, something's changing. So I'll go ahead and try and find her number now. I don't know what her number is. Again, this is the first time I've had her uh, with an e-collar. I have a 30 foot long line here. So I'll just start finding her number and look for what she responds to. So that's possibility. So that right there, I don't know if you can see that. So that, that little head turn, that's a six. So I'm gonna lock that number in and we're gonna get to work. So one thing you guys uh, that I should mention, I don't have the speaker box, the sound box, so that you don't you don't know when I'm hitting this that can divert her attention and be more stimulation than she can handle. So what I'll do for you guys watching uh, is I will raise my hand when I'm pressing the button. Okay, so watch my hand. That's how you know I'm pressing the button. If I'm on the button, my hand will be up. If I'm off the button, hand will be down. All right, so we're just gonna work on a little bit of recall with her and uh, start reconditioning Sadie to the remote collar. So I'm pressing the button, saying her name. She recalls to me. I reward her by petting her up. Uh, I usually don't use food or treats to reward. Why? One of the reasons is I don't always want to carry a treat pouch. Most of my clients don't always want to carry treats or kibble in their pockets. 
but what we can always have is the ability to reward them with our hands and our voice. So praise, affection, best reward there is. take her down to a five as we start to get into this I see that her she's responding a little bit more than I'd like her to a little bit more intense turning the head so I'm gonna take her down to a five from a six again this is an educator uh, mini educator from e-collar technologies this goes to a hundred Sadie is working at a five if your dog's working really 20 and above consistently uh, those in my opinion are higher numbers uh, for just basic exercises like this we probably need to teach and figure out what we're what we can do to teach them so that we can bring those numbers down and communicate and eventually fade away from relying on this as a, a primary source of communication let's go So that's, uh, that's our first little session with Sadie, just reconditioning her to the e-collar. Just do, just gonna do really short sessions with her uh, whenever she's here for the day. And, uh, and just slowly build her back up to what this communication means. Start to reinforce her recall and uh, reinforce her switching drives. But she struggles with that. She gets a very excitable, intense dog. And so starting to teach her to switch drives and being able to reinforce that and communicate that with a tool like the electronic collar uh, is beneficial. Otherwise, 
what's she gonna do? Drag a leash around the house all the time so we can communicate, so we can follow through and reinforce what it is that we ask. That's not realistic. Um, so for a time, electronic collar, then we can fade away from using that and, and then we're, we're, we're lovely. We're at a point where we're communicating well, she's cooperating and there's just uh, harmony in the house. So as you can see, this is a happy dog. She was more than happy to, to come with me. She wasn't squealing. I wasn't punishing her. Um, she just was following me. I dropped the long line. So we're just walking back and forth when she gets into the swing of things. But I recall using the remote collar and she comes, she's very happy, I reward her. Uh, if you've got a dog that you're using the e-collar and they're, they're dropping their head and they're shut down and not wanting to work, they're, they're lagging behind, they're not excited, you know, we gotta look at how we're teaching it, how we're, what we're reinforcing, how we're reinforcing, what number we're using, so on and so forth. So, but that concludes our session with Sadie. Good job. So her and I are gonna go do a little bit of, uh, maybe a little, little play with a ball or a tug toy now to kind of wrap it up. Whenever I do a working session like this, especially when I'm reintroducing and reconditioning a dog to anything, I want to finish it up with some play. Make it fun. Make it fun on both ends. Make it fun and enjoyable during, but especially afterwards, engage in some play and then put them up back in their kennel for a time to just process. So, hope this was helpful and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go.